A woman who once battled eating disorders is taking her concerns to Washington, D.C., offering hope to millions of people who had the same battles. Yeah, Joanna Candell is her name. She struggled with anorexia, bulimia, and binge eating disorders when she was 11 years old. She got help, and now years later, she's pushing for a bipartisan bill to help others with help from a congressman. Maybe it'll, it'll help some people to reach out uh, to, to seek the help that they need who might not otherwise have done it. So there's more than just this legislation. It will give training to primary care providers, doctors, nurses, teachers, school therapists on how to identify, assess, and how to have that early intervention. The bipartisan bill called the Anna Weston Act, named after a woman who died from anorexia, will be discussed in the fall during several committee hearings. Uh, joining us now is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Doctor, this bill also talks about the need for doctors to be educated mm -hmm. in treating eating disorders. Do you think they go undetected early, and is this something that needs to be fixed? Absolutely. You know, there's 30 million folks that have this disorder, and only one in 10 are actually diagnosed. And because the symptoms, symptoms can be nonspecific, the biggest thing is when when these folks lose weight and they lose a substantial amount of weight, people think, well, they're just dieting, mm -hmm. and, and they don't really look for causes. So one in 10 are being diagnosed. We have a lot of room for improvement, including us. We, if we educate us and if there's actual funding to even educate some of our staff, like our medical assistants, the people who see them before us yeah. and alert us, I think it will be really Things useful. to look for That's in exactly people. Right. You know, some warning signs, and also uh, when, when they have weight loss, to ask them, how did you do it? Because we, people don't. Because here's what's happening with docs. We just are so pressured. To keep going and yeah. get five minutes, ten minutes. You've been to doctors. I mean, people are out the door before your questions are answered. So now, bring it back and say, let's educate you so we can we can diagnose this early, so we can make a difference. The bill also, this kind of interesting, talks about truth in advertising. Yeah. In advertising, we know everybody knows that they Photoshop models to look thinner. Uh, thin is in that kind of thing right there. I mean, how do you feel about that? Yeah, there's a song my my daughter uh, listened to. Uh, it's by Megan Trainer. It talks about it's all about the all base. About You've the heard base. about yeah. that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And she says in there, you know, that's got to be photoshopped. And what I tell my daughter is that these images you see, you know, are really always not always real because they're photoshopped. So women are constantly pressured to to fit a mode that that may not be possible. Women so, and teenagers and, and young kids, too. right? Absolutely, absolutely. Everybody, even including mm -hmm. boys. Yeah. But I think that the, you know what happens is as these, these kids don't know that this is not real right, and they right. try to achieve that with with every power they have and often they, they go into the eating disorders and, and, and binging and purging to try to get that it can be deadly just for the record we're not we're not photoshopped you would know we're not no. these, these, they look just as get, good right? <laughs> just as good live people so all right let's talk music therapy now and yeah. medical procedures new study finds that it can have a positive effect like during surgery after surgery before all of it right it's amazing you know we uh, i've done this with my i was talking to both of you that with my dad my dad has had a stroke and whenever he has trouble with anything i start playing music and it really calms him down what they've mm -hmm. done in this study is show for surgeries postoperatively you can reduce sedatives you can reduce pain medications and you can calm people down but it has to be done with music therapists people think well i just play some music will be fine well so certain types of music and if you're playing you know hardcore raps for some people that, yeah, that calm them down but, but joanne her heart rate may go up and right, she may right. get more anxious so maybe not but uh, <laughs> no. well you know you got to watch you got to do with music therapy no heavy metal you're saying well you know for me heavy metal calms me right down for oh, people <laughs> <laughs> who have their heart rate ACDC all day, baby? So, so you know, if you if you if it calms you down, that's fine. But it may not. So, and, and also you have to you have to curtail you have to you have to make it custom made for the patients. Of course, the music of course. therapy says after 20 minutes, it may actually overstimulate you, and then it's it's the opposite problem.